Hey guys, I'm Alexandra Brennan with Express Yoga Lower Body Level 1. We're going to get started in tabletop today. So here in table, I want you to make sure that your wrists are right below your shoulders and your knees are right below your hips. And we're going to move into a few rounds of cat-cow. So as you inhale, you're going to drop your belly. Your tailbone and your gaze are going to go up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, starting from your tailbone, start to round your spine. Your chin is going to be the very last to tuck. And then about four more times with your own breath. All we're doing is warming up your spine, loosening it up, seeing any areas that might need a little bit more attention today. Remember, we're really connecting that breath with movement. It'll help you open up just a bit more. One more round. And then we're gonna pause in tabletop. We're gonna bring your big toes touching, knees apart. Take an inhale. Exhale, you're gonna push back into a wide leg child's pose. Opening up your hips, your arms extended forwards. If you wanna open up your shoulders a bit, you can kind of tent your hands, almost like you have a cupcake or a stack of money under there. Couple rounds of breath. Inhale, we're gonna move up through tabletop and onto your belly. So here on your stomach, you're gonna have the tops of your feet pressing into your mat. And you're gonna bring your arms out wide, your elbows bent and in line with your shoulders. So as you inhale, pressing your pelvis and your tops of your feet into your mat, inhale, lift your chest, lift your elbows, using the strength from the low back to open up. Exhale, release, relax the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Take a deep inhale, lifting. Maybe this is the highest you've lifted. And then take a moment to exhale. Stack one hand on top of the other. Rest your forehead. Just take a moment. See what effect that had on your low back. And then bring the hands under the shoulders. Inhale up through tabletop. And we're going to move into down dog for just a few breaths. So we're going to tuck the toes. You're going to lift your hips up and back, down dog. It's okay if your heels don't quite make it to the floor. Pressing each individual finger into the mat to prevent any wrist injury. Inhale. If you need to have a slight bend to your knees, that's okay. Modify as you need. Two more rounds of breath. Maybe you bend your knees, bring your torso closer and straighten them out. And then slowly whew, back through tabletop. Pause here, find a neutral spine. And then all we're going to do is we're going to swing the legs out in front of you. We're going to move into a seated forward fold. So with this fold, I want you to make sure that you're actively keeping your legs straight out in front of you. So all 10 toes as much as you can trying to face the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the spine, reach your arms up. Exhale, you're gonna to start to fold forward, hinging from your hips. And we're not trying to set any records with how far down you can go, just until you feel like you've reached your edge. So two, if you go any more, it's too much. If you go any less, it's not enough. Taking nice, solid breaths here. Breathing into your hamstrings. Probably gonna feel them here. Three more breaths. And then inhale, start to lift back up. And after we move through each pose, just take a moment to check in, see how you're feeling, if anything's changing, is it feeling better, are you feeling like anything's getting aggravated, listening to your body. And then we're gonna slowly start to recline back onto your back, bringing both soles of the feet firmly into your mat, about hips width distance apart. We're just gonna move into a few pelvic tilts. So what you're gonna do here, as you're gonna engage the core, pressing your low back into the mat. And then inhale, release. So it's a very, very little movement, but it's gonna make a big difference. So inhale, exhale, engage your core, press your low back into the mat. Inhale, release two more times. Inhale, exhale, engage. Inhale, and exhale. All right, now that we're done with that, you're gonna to start to heel toe both feet towards each other. And as you inhale, 
inhale, you're gonna drop your knees open. So this is gonna help just open things up a bit more as you inhale as opposed to exhaling while you open. So we're gonna turn this into a dynamic movement. Inhale, open, exhale, you're gonna draw your knees together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Deep inhale, maybe the deepest one you've done. And then exhale, draw the knees back together. Perfect, all right. So as you inhale this time, we're gonna hug your knees into your chest. Maybe just take a few breaths to rock side to side. And then inhale, we're gonna open your arms out to a T. The legs are gonna go 90 degree angle, so the shins are gonna be parallel with the ceiling. As you exhale, we're gonna drop both knees over towards the right side of your mat, open for a twist. Seeing if we can keep your left shoulder as grounded as you can. Taking four solid breaths here. Seeing if you can really allow for this twist to open you up. Not only is this releasing the low back, but it also helps digestion. And then allow your next inhale to guide your legs back through center. Exhale, we're gonna drop the legs over towards the left side. Right shoulder stays grounded. You might hear a little popping, it's okay. And again, four solid breaths here. Feeling the release. And then your next inhale is gonna move the legs back through center. We're gonna take your hands to the tops of your knees. And again, this is gonna be a very small movement, but it can do a lot to release your back. So you're gonna hug the knees into the chest as you exhale. Inhale, you're gonna push your legs to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, hug your knees. Exhale, push. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Maybe you close your eyes while you're here. It can help you kind of tune into the sensations a bit more. Push to a 90 degree angle. And then once again, hug your knees into your chest. Our last move, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock side to side, but we're gonna open the, uh, the legs out like we are a book. So as you inhale, you're gonna move over towards the right side, pulling your knee open and then dropping the knees together. Inhale to the left. Just a few times, you don't really need to count. It's gonna kind of really be awesome at the end of a long day. So as many times, if you wanna spend the whole practice doing this, I don't blame you. For my portion of it, one more time. Inhale back through center. All right, and then when you're ready to get up, just slowly make your way. That's it for Express Yoga Lower Body Level 1. If you guys want to keep repeating this video, you can see progress slowly build. So again, I'm Alexandra Brennan. Thanks.